So guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna start the video with the walk round of this van. The van behind me, the T6, is literally, I mean look at it, one of the coolest things I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, let's go through the specs of this thing. It's a 2018 T6 Transporter, but as you can see, it's had a fair few modifications. Now this is actually remapped to 203 brake horsepower. It has the diesel engine, 150 brake horsepower from the factory, but it has the seven speed DSG automatic gearbox, but the full van was built by Van Haven themselves. Absolutely beautiful van this. So as you can see, it's actually sat fully aired out at the moment. It is sat on the airlift bags with Bilstein shocks all round with the Air tank in the back. The stance is just on point in this thing. We'll come up to the front because the front bumper has the Van Haven 6 front bumper as you can see a lot lower than the original front bumper that it would come out of the factory with this also has the radar on the front and black VW badges it also has these headlights which have been split apart and actually blacked out a little bit in the center very very cool looking just gives the front a lot more aggression coming down to the sides these are actually lenzo wheels that you wouldn't usually find on one of these transporters because they don't come in this fitment they've actually been re-drilled just because the owner rob loved the look and the way they sat with the et against the actual van so so cool red brake calipers at the front as well just sat so low as well so so low we have the side bars at the side as well coming down this is the long wheelbase version of the t6 it's absolutely huge and as you can see how low it actually sits and this van has actually just been ceramic coated by jason at jw auto shine with the car pro C quartz ceramic coating and look at the, the shine on it and it's just, it's just insane coming around the back we have tinted rear lights fully debadged rear with the black VW badge there fully tinted windows all around so in some angles it does look like a panel van but as you can see it's definitely not because if we take a little glimpse into the inside we have three seats up front, full leather in this one as well, by Van Haven themselves. And I've got to show you guys the inside of this. So it has an Alpine sound system with a kicker sub underneath the driver's seat and full kicker surround sound system all round. But coming up, we've got tweeters in the actual headliner, but as you can see, the whole headliner and everything around it is actually Alcantara and it's done so professionally and everything you can just see on the inside is actually gloss black. These would usually come out in sort of a grey plastic but as you can see everything going all the way back, even the grab handles a gloss black grab handle down there gloss black so that's all been done by van haven themselves dsg gearbox just up there 203 brake horsepower with the pendel remap that's been put on this thing but i'll take you guys into the back because this is where it gets really really cool now rob himself actually has kids and i can completely see why you would have this it actually has seating for nine people in this so it has a secondary row here full lever again with three seats going along we have tvs in here as well remember guys this is a van and it's been built just to rob's specs a fully gloss black everything up there with the alcantara false kicker sound system again hidden all underneath the seats and up in the top of the van as well but yeah screens in the back of it and as you can see if we flip this up 
the whole seat actually folds forward so you can get in and out incredibly easy into the back of this and you have another three seats in the back absolutely family car goals that is in my opinion absolute goals and the the funny thing is to me is when you come up to this van it's so easy to get in and out of because it is so low i mean if you look at it at this angle look how low it actually is to the ground and the step to actually get in is incredibly low as well we'll shut that and take you guys around the back and show you in the boot a huge huge boot even with the nine seats that are in this thing, there is still a massive boot in the back for everyone to put their luggage in, anything you could ever want, you could get in this thing. But this is the newer style tank from Acrea that actually has all of the compressors and everything inside the tank. So water trap inside the tank, and it means it's a lot more minimalist sound, especially in this tank. So there's no sound pretty much from the actual compressors, which is one of those things I used to get back in the day. The compressor sound was horrible. And you have the 3P airlift just there with all the airlines going into the van. Such a cool thing to have in the rear and blacked out as well, just like the rest of the van. I just want to get a shot of all of it opened up. Absolute dream van goals this with the long wheelbase and that so you can get everything in the back i think any family man with a big family would absolutely love to have this as their family wagon it even has alcantara all up here on the back of it just the build is just unbelievable on this thing very very impressive absolute monster look how low it is so so cool this thing i am mega impressed with just how large and long and low this thing is it's super cool but guys we're going to grab the keys get back in the van go and enjoy this thing right jumping in the transporter a lot easier than any other van i've ever got into because where it's so low you literally just like sit in it <laughs> there's no like climbing up into it so cool now i understand a lot of people maybe a bit hit and miss about the whole van thing modified vans and stuff like that but this is on another level so airlift there we go i didn't, I didn't even need to start the van didn't even need to start the van it adjusts itself this airlift the 3p i come from an air ride background where you would use paddles so this is just like a thing of beauty and as you can hear in the background that's how much noise this Acura tank actually makes in the cabin. Unbelievable what's happened with air ride and, and all that these days. Starting the van up. Again, this is a diesel van. And I'm, before I even drive it, I'm going to point out that this is not a diesel van. This is just on another level. So DSG box, very, very easy to drive. And away we go. starting off a now starting off after the walk around which i've shown you guys this is a pretty much fully built transporter you can get these from van haven they actually build stuff from complete factory vans literally panel vans and build it to your specification now this one is that build rob decided what he wanted he wanted various little bits and bobs put on it like the gloss black bits all through the cabin the alcantara that's been done even in the actual sun visors beautiful work by van hey the real purpose of this video and the purpose of this van especially coming to the channel is to point out the craziness that people are coming out with in these vans this one has to be one of the coolest transporters i've ever seen i've seen a few at shows some crazy builds inside but this is a daily vehicle that gets used put through its paces constantly and that's why it's been built it's been built with nine seats in it because rob himself has children and the only other variant is that ford galaxy there Nothing against the Ford Galaxy, but this looks so much better. If you need a lot of space for a lot of people, a lot of children, a lot of adults maybe, this has to be pretty much the ultimate van. But it's not really a van anymore because again, like every other van I seem to drive at the moment, fully carpeted out with every panel having something on it. It isn't just metal, it's fabrics and sound deadening and 
phenomenal sound system. The sound system that's been put in this is an Alpo screen up front with a full kicker surround sound system all in the headliner and a sub under the driver's seat. So it's got a mental sound system. It's got the ease to get in and out of wherever you need to because it's bagged. So it's got the airlift 3P management up front that automatically comes on when you put the key in. Very, very cool system. So you don't even need to touch it. It has a one touch button to go over speed bumps if needs be, and you can completely drop it if you want to as well. Or you can go into manual mode and just individually put the front up, put the back down, all that sort of good stuff. So if you're into your air ride, you know full well what that is capable of. If you don't, there it is. It is capable of pretty much everything. This is actually sat on the airlift bags, but has Bilstein dampeners so it retained a fantastic ride even when loaded up and it has sensors all around the van to actually put more air in where it needs to be so if you go around a corner too briskly let's say it will actually force air into a bag to keep you level and straight and true as you go round. another amazing thing that's happening to air ride these days yes you'll find that in your factory cars but this is an aftermarket system that's been put on this van and it works perfectly i'm driving down the road right now and it's a pretty horrible road i'm going down and would you guys even know no i asked myself when i picked this up why would anybody go for anything other than a transporter that's like this yes they come at a premium they're incredibly expensive but i'm gonna buy a panel van take it to van haven given the specs you were after you could create this if you wanted to but the msrts and various other vans that come at a premium these days i think have all gone the same way where they're so refined now just like this one they retain so much ease of daily life comfort levels space looks that you get a quality product for the price you're paying at the end of the day this is the same price as a you know audi or a mercedes estate diesel yet you get so much more for your money you get the looks i mean of something that no one else has got like especially from where i'm from no one else has got something like this and 200 brake horsepower it's still got some serious get up and go considering this is a long wheelbase transporter it's incredibly impressive this thing i just love what people are able to do these days the modified car scene especially as we go over a bump there the air ride sorted itself out i didn't even know i saw the bump come in i saw a Renault clear go over it and the, 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 the retained comfort in this is just insane on the airlift. It just becomes one of the coolest things you can buy on the market. And like, not because it's a sports car or anything, but like, think about it. If you need to go to the tip, everything goes in the back. If you need to take your kids out, they all go in the back. You need to take the lads out. They all get in. It's a win-win, this thing, it really is.